Yeah, hello, my student number 7042. Today I'll be talking about genre theory and how it can be used to categorize games, just like in films. However, before we dive into that whole debacle, let's define genre. Genre is a French word that means a kind, sort, or style. So with this, we know it can be applied to films, games, novels, and music, all types of media. The game I will be presenting today is da -da -da -da, One Shot. It is made by indie developer Little Cat Feet, which is the most adorable dev name that I have heard. The plot is you are to guide a child through a mysterious world on a mission to restore its long dead son. I consider the game to be a take on the fantasy genre. Let's list some conventions and show some clips. To take the audience to another world, there are tale places where events are unlikely to occur in real life. The hero must ask for aid from a powerful superhuman force from the outside world. Get out of here now! What? Leave before it gets dark. You've got to get across the river. Go! I'll distract them! Their complexity shows itself through highly woven storylines and intense character developments. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this sin, not join them! Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness! Wait a sec. Did I miss a quote? In fantasy films, the hero often undergoes some kind of mystical experience. He doesn't understand that he's the one who has the power to stop it. He simply can't imagine that one little boy could be that important. Is it really me? Often having an element involving magic, wonder, myth, legend, supernatural, make-believe, escapism, the extraordinary, bizarre, and imaginary creations. Guardian Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Sometimes there was a quest surrounding a form of object, typically of magical origin. Hold out your hand, Frodo. It's quite cool. There tends to be characters of mythical and or magical origin. of fantasy conventions to guide us. A fairy tale place, story which character and plot, aid from forces on the outside, hero undergoes a mystical experience, non-human characters, elements of magic myth and so on, and a quest surrounding a magical object. I will be playing some non-specific cutscenes and clips from the game as a lot of it goes into spoiler territory. As I stated before, the plot of the game is to restore the sun to the world. You have to guide a child, which is Nico, to restore the sun, which is the light globe. The game's theme is about adventure, taking us to a place in their own world. In the beginning of the game, the world is dull and dark, it's cold and mysterious. Even the rain doesn't look like Earth, but more of a moon. Progressing in the game leads you to new and unfamiliar locations. As the player traverses the world, you come across many unique characters, either that being personality or looks. The protagonist, Nico, is a cat child, or maybe they're just wearing a funny hat, but that wouldn't explain their big golden eyes. Compared to other characters, Silver has red hair and eyes, wearing armor but still appears very human, even though she's not. She's a robot. Humans do still exist in the game though, but even more characters stray further from being human, as you see when you explore the world. In order to progress in the game, you need to guide Nico to solve the puzzles that the game throws at you. 
Most are simplistic, but there are a couple that forces you to think outside of the box. Nika will talk to the player directly numerous times as you venture on in the game. This is a core feature of the game, as well in its story, which is why it has the genre metafiction, aka fourth wall breaking. This is to bring an immersive experience to the player, as you have heart to heart moments with characters in the game, rather than a throwaway joke compared to most other medias. As to why Nico can speak to the player, it is because they are part of a prophecy to restore the world's sun. Due to this, they have the ability to talk to the player, the god of the world, as no other character in the game can. Sweet! The list is complete! Time to wrap up this video! One Shot is an adventure, story-rich puzzle metagame that would be best fitted to the fantasy genre according to ones common in films. There's loads more to uncover in this game, so if ever given the chance, I highly recommend to give this gem a shot. A one shot! Hey!